fellow stargazers from all around the world. I'm Luis Miguel Azurin, and I welcome you once again to the astronomical ephemerides of Astro Academy. We're starting a new year, and today we'll go over the most important astronomical events of January 2026. As always, we'll cover the lunar phases, planetary events, the most notable astronomical happenings, and at the end, we'll also share some photography tips so you can capture them under the night sky. Let's start, as always, with this month's lunar phases. On January 3rd, full moon, the wolf supermoon. This first full moon of the year is called the wolf moon because, according to the traditions of Northern Hemisphere peoples, it was the month when wolves howled more often during the long winters. This year, it also coincides with the moon being at perigee, so it will be a supermoon, especially bright and close. On January 10th, last quarter, ideal for observing lunar craters and surface features with a telescope or binoculars. On January 18th, new moon, no visible moon. The sky will be dark and unobstructed, perfect for enjoying stars, planets and deep sky objects. And on January 26th, first quarter, the opposite phase to the last quarter and, therefore, a good time to observe shadows and surface features on the Moon. Having reviewed the lunar phases, let's move on to the month's most notable planetary events. On January 10th, Jupiter will be at opposition. Jupiter will be aligned with Earth in relation to the Sun and, therefore, at its closest point to us. This means that not only will it appear at its brightest, but we will also be able to see it at its largest angular diameter. In other words, at its maximum size through our telescope, which will allow us to observe a wealth of details and capture high-resolution images of the gas giant. It will also be an excellent opportunity to take on the challenge of detecting details on the Galilean moons. As for the other planets, Mercury, Venus and Mars will be too close to the Sun from our perspective, so they will not be visible or will be very difficult to observe. But Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, in addition to Jupiter, will appear high in the sky for much of the night, allowing us to observe and photograph them. Now let's move on to the rest of the notable astronomical events for this month of January. In the early hours of January 3rd to 4th, we have the peak of the quadranted meteor shower. This meteor shower is one of the most intense of the year, producing, depending on the year, between 120 and 200 meteors per hour in dark skies. However, this year, the Moon, which will also be at perigee, will make it harder to observe the fainter meteors, reducing the number of visible meteors to about 10 per hour, the brightest ones. On January 8th, Comet 24P Shomase will reach perihelion. This is a periodic comet discovered by Alexandre Shomas in 1911, and it has a period of only 8.25 years. This comet will be very well positioned for observation and photography during most of the night, and its magnitude is estimated to be between 7 and 9, making it ideal for viewing with binoculars or telescopes. The month of January 2025 will also bring us some interesting conjunctions. On January 3rd, we will have a beautiful conjunction between a full moon at perigee and the planet Jupiter, which will also be almost at its point of opposition. On January 27th, we will have the best conjunction of the month, with the moon in a phase slightly past the first quarter, really very close to the Pleiades cluster. It could be an excellent opportunity to capture striking images of these two astronomical objects, occupying a small region of the night sky. These encounters offer unique opportunities to observe and photograph the sky as they combine the moon with planets or bright stars. And as always, we finish with some photography tips so you can immortalize some of these astronomical events. As for meteor showers, use a wide-angle lens, the highest ISO your ambient and moonlight conditions allow, and exposures between 15 and 30 seconds. Point the camera toward the radiant of the meteor shower while trying to avoid the moon so you can capture the faintest meteors. For the full moon or super moon, use a sturdy tripod and fast shutter speeds with a long focal length. If you also incorporate personal elements or landscape features to create a contrast in sizes, you can achieve epic photographs. Jupiter at opposition. Ideally, you should use astrophotography equipment for planetary capture with the longest focal length possible and try to obtain high-resolution images of the gas giant. Telescopes with medium and large apertures, along with planetary cameras with small sensors, can provide spectacular images of this planet's opposition. Regarding conjunctions between the Moon and other planets or stars, ideally, you should use photographic lenses with medium to long focal length. Depending on how close these conjunctions are, we will use a longer or shorter focal length accordingly. Similarly, incorporating elements from the landscape will allow us to give more context to the photograph. January 2026 starts off strong, a perigee moon, the quadranted meteor shower, Jupiter at opposition, and several conjunctions of the Moon with planets and stars. Mark your calendar, get your gear ready, and enjoy a sky full of opportunities for observation and photography. 
If you'd like to dive deeper into these topics of astronomy and astrophotography, remember that on astroacademy.es and at Academia Natural Portraits, you can find our full courses. See you under the stars!